Welcome to our video that will show you how to set up and carry out the GCSE required practical determining the specific heat capacity of one or more materials. Students will look at the mass and temperature change of a block calorimeter whilst it's being heated using an immersion heater. For this experiment we'll be using the following equipment. Calorimeter blocks. We're using brass, mild steel and aluminium. A thermometer, stopwatch, 3 ml pipettes, an immersion heater, 4 mm connecting leads, a bench power supply, today we're using the Unilab Space Saver bench power unit, an ammeter, a voltmeter, a 2 decimal place balance and a heat proof mat. Weigh the first of the calorimeter blocks on the balance and make a note of the weight in kilograms in a suitable table. You'll also need to include a column for temperature change, current, from the ammeter reading and voltage from the voltmeter. The table should look something like this. Insert the immersion heater into the larger hole in the top of the calorimeter and place the calorimeter on the heat proof mat. Connect the immersion heater and the ammeter in series with the power supply. Connect the voltmeter in parallel with the immersion heater. Your circuit should look something like this. Using a small 3 ml dropping pipette, drop a couple of drops of water into the smaller hole of the calorimeter. This will help the thermal contact between the calorimeter and the thermometer. Set the power supply to 12 volts and switch on. Note the temperature and the reading on the ammeter and voltmeter and record these results in the table. Take three readings every 60 seconds for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, switch the power supply off. Take care not to touch the calorimeter block itself as this will be hot. The following results were obtained for a one kilogram brass calorimeter block. The readings on the ammeter and voltmeter shouldn't change and these can be used to work out the power of the heater. The power of the heater equals current, I, multiplied by voltage, V. Once you've calculated the power of the heater, we need to calculate the work done in joules by the heater. Work done by the heater equals time in seconds times the power of heater in watts. Plot a graph of temperature, degree C, against work done, joules, and draw a line of best fit. Calculate the gradient of your graph. The gradient equals the change in temperature rise divided by the change in work done in joules. For the results we obtained, the gradient equals 43 over 16680, therefore giving you 0.002578. The specific heat capacity of the brass block is calculated using the formula 1 divided by gradient. So therefore, 1 divided by 0.002578 equals 387.89 joules per kilogram. You can increase the accuracy of this experiment by insulating the calorimeter block. We hope you've enjoyed this practical advice. For expert technical advice, please contact our technical support team at techsupport at philipharris.co.uk or see our blog at philipharris.co.uk forward slash blog.